Welcome to Thriftmas Day 7. My name is Julie, and today is an exciting day because of two things. We're headed somewhere that has everything 50% off, and then I am actually trying something new today. So I ask for your patience. I ask for you to bear with me because I am wearing a GoPro today. I have never filmed with one of these, so this is completely new for me. But I do have a very fun haul for you. I have all of these pieces styled in my home, so I am super excited to show you what I was able to get for 50% off and and how I am using and styling all of these pieces in my home today. So by the time I did get to this sale, it was pretty much picked over. <laughs> there was so much stuff that people were coming out with. By the time I got there, I just, I showed up too late. I didn't want to get out of the bed this morning and get going. I was so tired. But because I did follow my own advice, I looked high, I looked low, I looked behind things, I looked underneath things, all that kind of stuff. I was super excited to find some of the things that I brought home. Okay, let's get into the thrift haul now. And the first thing that I'm going to share with you are these little frames. I saw these right as I was checking out. They were priced at $1 each, but I only paid 50 cents a piece, again, because everything was 50% off. And these were perfect. I was actually going to Hobby Lobby today to hunt for some frames because I printed some Nutcracker prints off of Etsy. I mean, I downloaded them and then I printed them here at home off Etsy. And these frames are going to work perfect for that. They have the perfect colors. I don't have to do anything to these other than clean them up. So this was definitely a win. Here are the prints that I printed out from Etsy. I don't know if you know you can do that, but this saves you so much money. So if you want something that looks old and vintage, and I actually printed this on some paper that looks old that I got at Goodwill last year, y'all, for 99 cents. So win, win there with the frames and the paper. Okay, so my first video with the GoPro was probably not a huge success. <laughs> I am going to try to get better at it though, y'all. I promise I am. I didn't film a whole lot just because my daughters ended up coming and I ended up having kiddos either on my hip or at my feet <laughs> and calling my name 24-7. I mean, it's just one of those things. Mimi duties come first. But I hope that y'all enjoyed what I was able to film. And let me show you the few things that I picked up today. It's a pretty neutral thrift haul today. It's wild how everything is pretty much all the same color. It's so funny. But the first thing is this beautiful basket. And I got this because I originally thought maybe I could use it to put a Christmas tree in. We all know I have a basket obsession, so we're just going to move right past that and talk about how gorgeous this one is. So this first place that I went to, they had everything was half off. They were having like a warehouse type sale or something. And so everything that I picked up 
was half off. Actually, everything in there was half off. There were a couple of things that I picked up that did not have a price on it, this being one of them. So when I went up front, they told me that this would be priced at $4, but because everything was half off, I ended up getting this for $2, which I did not think was too bad because even if I don't use this for a Christmas tree, I'm thinking that I could put a pothos plant in this or something you know set a little pot down in here and i think that that would be so pretty with a green pothos plant kind of hanging over the side so first item here was this basket for two dollars oh and i don't know if i mentioned it but everything i'm going to show you in this thrift haul i already have styled in my house so i'm going to be showing that to you here in just a minute so some of y'all might think this is wild <laughs> So this was in the footage and it is this very big old rusty looking cutting board. Now I just love stuff like this because I use this as a layering piece for decor. I will not actually use this to put food on because I don't know what it was used for or what all has been sitting on it. Apparently someone did a lot of cooking on it and loved it because you can see all of the knife marks but I don't know this could have been out in somebody's shed and animals could have been all over. I will not be using it for food preparation purposes. Here's what the back looks like and again it's not I don't even think really old or vintage or anything like that i don't know it might be but i just love how old and rustic and country it looks and i actually have this styled on my coffee table with some other things on it and it looks perfect to me i love it so i'll share that with y'all here in just a minute now this was the same thing it did not have a price on it so when i went up front they said oh four dollars and we'll give it, and of course everything again was half price, so I got this for $2. Not a bad deal for this beautiful piece here. And is this wooden reindeer not the cutest thing you have ever seen in your life? I don't know if someone hand carved this or if this was actually bought retail originally. It did have a little piece of greenery stuff right here, and I did not like that, so I took it off. But look at all of the little detail on him let me get it where you can see him good and this is actually metal so i thought that that was interesting but yeah i really really love this i love that it's wood you kind of like bringing those i don't know outdoor elements kind of in just it blends well with everything and again this is a piece that i love so much i will probably keep for a while in my opinion it would just go and fit in with any type of christmas decor you decided to bring out so if you're one of those that changes their decor from year to year, I think he would fit in nicely with whatever you chose. This little guy right here was also only $2. So what a steal for him. There's his little feet. And I have him in place also, so I'll be showing you where he is situated at for the Christmas season. All right, thank y'all so much for being patient with me while I tried out the GoPro. All of my other Thriftmas videos are done on a camera and not my GoPro because I really need some practice with that thing. But anyway, we'll see y'all back here tomorrow for Thriftmas Day 8. We hope that y'all have a wonderful evening. We love y'all and I'll see you back here tomorrow with a brand new video.